Well, in this week's Cardiology Countdown, we have cost-effectiveness analysis of a new antiplatelet. We also have an ESC statement looking at how to use the high-sensitivity troponin assay and a fascinating study on timing of surgery for infective endocarditis. First up this week is the cost-effectiveness analysis from the PLATO trial that looked at the new antiplatelet agent ticagrelor as compared with clopidogrel in patients with acute coronary syndromes. This study, uh, as previously reported, showed a reduction in death or MI and indeed total mortality over a one-year period. And the investigators totaled up the costs and calculated it in euros uh, for a European-style practice and found that the quality-adjusted life year cost just 2,750 euros, so roughly $4,000, uh, and indeed cost per life saved uh, was about the same thing, uh, 2,400 euros, or a little bit less than $4,000. Now, our usual benchmark is $50,000, so this is way on the spectrum of really inexpensive for the benefit uh, observed. And this will be a key bit of information as hospitals and systems uh, start to adopt the newer therapies. Well, next we have a well-needed uh, uh, statement from the ESC about how to use high-sensitivity troponin values. Um, they go into the details of using the 99th percentile and how to calculate that, report uh, less than assay for those that are less than the assay cut point, but then importantly say how to use them in ruling out uh, acute MI in the emergency department where you could look at a three and a six hour uh, sample in addition to the admission one. But importantly, look for a relative change in the biomarker. And so if it starts negative to see a 50% increase or so rise and fall, uh, or if already positive, a further rise of, of more than 20%. And that is uh, a way to help diagnose um, myocardial necrosis. And so a very useful document for a vexing issue that we all face. The top pick this week is a study in the New England Journal looking at the timing of surgery for patients who have infective endocarditis. It's a small study, uh, just about 70 patients or so, but one that looked at high-risk patients that had large vegetations, uh, on average a bit over one centimeter, left-sided endocarditis, about two-thirds of which was mitral, um, and uh, the majority was strep um, endocarditis and just 11% staff. But interestingly, they found that by doing surgery within 48 hours of diagnosis, um, as compared with more conventional uh, timing of surgery, they were able to reduce by 25% uh, absolute the risk of embolism. They had a primary endpoint that was death or embolism or recurrence, and that occurred in uh, just 3% of the early surgery group as compared with 23% um, for uh, the conventional group, and that's um, at six weeks after treatment. Uh, and so a huge benefit um, of early surgery that I think will really deserve attention. It's a small study, but one that will would likely change how we practice in terms of approaching patients with um, big uh, hemodynamically uh, compromising um, infective endocarditis. So for this week's Cardiology Countdown, I'm Chris Cannon.